guys welcome back to our channel accounts gurukul so we are here with a new video and this video again we have created based on the request of our viewers and uh, by knowing that we are biased with r2r and fvna so that's the most uh, interesting and uh, the area where we want to take our career into accounting and finance so would like to create a more videos related to that but having said that what our viewers is want that's more essential for us so this is created based on the request of our viewers and uh, how the fna career is there and uh, the FVNA, that's finance planning and analysis. What does an FVNA analyst do? And which skills are necessary? And what are the possible evaluations FVNA do? So that's essential to know if you want to go into the FVNA. And uh, if you are thinking to take your career towards the finance planning and analysis, then you need to know that what does an FNA analyst do and uh, related to go into that field what type of skill sets is required for us to take your career into FNA so that's all we are going to discuss in this video so request our viewers to watch the video till the end like the video share the video and uh, subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to the accounting and finance and uh, you can connect us on our email id that's accounts.gurukul at the rate yahoo.com now here what does an fna analyst do so that we are going to discuss here so if you see the fna analyst are the FNA analysts are responsible for performing budgeting, forecasting, and analyze to provide senior management with business cases and information to make major operational financials and strategic decisions. So if you see here that word of FVNA, that's finance planning and analysis itself is give the more clarity about that particular profile. The first is financial planning. So it means that you are going to be responsible for making the financial planning for that particular business through analysis. That's A, it stands for analysis. So the FVNA, it means that financial planning or finance planning and analysis so first you have to do the analysis and then based on that analysis you have to do the financial planning so the job profile and what does the an fvna analyst do they do the analysis of the data and based on that analysis they prepare the financial planning for future business strategic decisions. So now, if you see here, the finance planning analyst do, they performing the budgeting forecast. So whatever budget is going to be required for next financial year, they prepare the budget based on the historical data and analysis to provide senior management. So most of the FNA team directly do the reporting to the senior management and uh, they do the business cases with information. So the FNA team do the analysis, do the case study of the businesses based on the information and provide it to the senior management to make major operational financial and strategic decisions. So having said that, there are two competitive profiles are there. One is for R2R and the one more is related to FVNA. 
So related to R to R, as we already mentioned that there are huge uh, bright futures are there for uh, R to R and uh, related to the FVNA as compared to R to R for FVNA, there are certain limited scope for FVNA because the FVNA team is directly connect with the senior management and uh, for doing this budgeting analysis and forecasting, there are limited requirements are there into the MNCs. But related to R2R, there are among the N number of requirements are there because the N number of data crunchings are there. But similarly for FVNA, we have to do the analysis of the data based on the business case study, whatever informations we have. And based on that, we have to give the decisions to our senior management to take it towards the further to make major operational and financial and strategic decisions towards the business growth. Typically, working within a regional headquarter of a large national or international corporations, the FNA analysts work on a regional level with various business units and upper management members, both nationally and internationally, depending on the size of the organization. So having said that, this FNA rule itself is very crucial because it's going to be straightway reporting to the senior management or uh, the business management and number of business leaders, they need to work. And because their input is going to be do the value additions to take the business decisions, strategic decisions related to that business. So considering that they uh, work with national as well as international management team and uh, they need to work on various business units to come up with the case studies, case laws, which are going to give the benefit to the management to take the further decisions. Now, if you see here, an FNA analyst picks up where accounting leaves off to study. The FNA team to do the analysis when the accounting team leaves off to do the further studies. So it means that once the accounting has been done, and everything has been closed from accounting team, then the FNA team start to do the analysis of that data and analyze and explain historical performance and forecast future results. So the FNA team is used to do the study based on the historical data, historical performance and forecast future results. So once the accounting has been done and everything has been closed, then the FNA team start to do the analysis of that data based on the historical performance. Whatever is done in the history, it means that whatever is, has been done into the previous month, based on that or previous trend of quarter or years data, they used to do the analysis of that. And after their analysis, they do the forecast about future results gathering information from different business units and operations they build business cases have a large business understanding and have an end-to-end -end overview of a corporation's performance so the interesting thing about the fna rule is that they uh, get a huge data and they need to get the different information from the, all the different business units from their operations and they need to build the business case laws based on the different uh, line of businesses or different entities and have a large business understanding. They also, they also need to get the more understanding from the different units and have an end-to-end -end overview of corporations' performance to come up with the strong case study which are going to be give the business a strategic analysis to the upper management, to the senior leadership to take the decisions related to business towards the future growth. Now, which skills are necessary and what are the possible evaluations for FVNA? FNA analysts are excellent problem solvers. So if you see here, the FNA team analysts are excellent problem solvers, capable of 
handling a mountain of different data at a time. So if you see here, what are the skills is required if you want to choose your career as a FNA, or if you want to go into the FNA, then you need to do the focus where which skill sets are going to be held for you to take your career into the FNA. So if you see here, that they are excellent into problem solvers, irrespective of what your problems are there, these guys are able to give the solutions for that. They are capable for handling a mountain of different data at a time because they need to put their time for data crunching and whatever the huge data are there, it's going to be held for them to come up with their own analysis to doing the case study for that. And giving examples, we have also uh, worked into the MNCs where more than one years we work as a FNA and that's uh, the Fortune 500 entities are there. So we know that how much is the skill set is required to perform as a finance planning and analyst role because it's depend upon your all the data the business is going to take the decisions and that number is going to be held for the senior management so knowing that that number should be authentic and the number should be the actual and which are going to be give the true fact because based on that numbers the management is going to take the decisions about that business how it is going to be into the futures and if any strategic decision is need to take based on that data so just think how much is essential you have to be hold on that numbers and to be honest yes number speaks don't think that number don't speak that your number itself is going to be speak when you present in front of your management and uh, because of that reason the problem solvers capable of handling a mountain of different data at a time previous experience with reporting tools hyperion Cognos and business intelligent tools, quick view, SAP BI would be considered a strong asset. So these are all the technical knowledge related to the different tools is also is required for FNA analyst role to take the further decisions about the future growth. Now, as this function is Typical to large corporations, a good knowledge of English is usually required. So this is also the essentials if you want to take your career into the finance planning and analyst. And uh, as we mentioned, these teams is going to be straightway work with the top leaders from that organizations. And uh, knowing that they work with national as well as international leaders so the knowledge of English is usually required instead of usually, uh, we just want to say that the knowledge of English is must and need to be excellent if you want to walk into the FNA. To effectively communicate the impact of a specific business issues and formulate growth scenarios, a high emotional intelligence is essential as well as the ability to explain figures to non-financial people is also the one skill set is required if you want to grow into the FVNA. In our some previous videos as well, we have mentioned that what the skill set is required if you want to be uh, grow into the finance, finance and accounting. The ability to explain figures to a non-financial people is one of the skill set is required for you if you want to be grow into the finance planning and analyst. Because knowing that the senior leadership is not from the finance background, they are from the different uh, skill, having the different skill set, but not from the our finance background. And if they are going to decision make part of the decision maker, then the skill set what we require to explain the figures to non-financial people is going to be uh, play a very essential role. So considering that, that's also the one skill set is required if you want to go into the finance planning and analyst. Now, if you see here, 
An FNA analyst can typically evolve into a role such as business unit controller with A to Z financial responsibility over an entire division or local CFO, chief financial officer. So if you see here, the evaluations of the FNA team is that they are involved into the a to Z financial responsibility, it means that start to end responsibility of that particular divisions. Or you can say them as a local CFO, taking on a role as a CFO for a larger structure is usually the ultimate goal of FNA team. The person who are working into the FNA, knowing the skill set, what he has. Based on that, in a future evaluation of that person, is he will definitely think to take his career to us as a CFO role for a larger structure is usually the ultimate goal of FPNA person. So that's all from this video. And in this video related to FPNA, that's finance planning and analysis, what we learn from this video is that what does an FPNA analyst do? And which are all the skill sets are necessary and what are the possible evaluations of the FNA team. So knowing that what the skill set is required, what they do. So it's better for you guys to take the decisions if you want to go into the FNA. And uh, as we mentioned, this video also is we have created based on the, our request of one of our viewers. And I hope now through this video, that viewers is able to take the decisions either he want to go into the FNA and what does an FNA do and what type of skill sets or which skills are necessary being a part of FNA team and if you want to go into that then you have to enhance your skill which are going to be fit for this role so that's all from this video uh, Thanks guys, or thanks viewers for watching the video till the end and request viewers to like the video, share the video and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to the accounting and finance. Having said that, if you want we to create any video on which concept are going to give you the more knowledge related to enhance your career or in your routine, uh, activities what you are doing so would request to put it into the comment and we'll try to create a video on that so it's going to be give the help for you thank you